Hey yo, what's going on? But once again, bros, women, bronies, and packy sisters is the one, the only, of course, Mister. Nintendo Zone Free Twenty Eleven, aka Chris and Guy Two Thousand Nine. Of course, you guys can rest assured, channel before we begin, definitely check out FreedomNumber.com. Of course, Trouble Number Series. Now, if any people want a special channel, banner design, and picture specifically made just for you, I'll put links all in the description box down below to all their social media account networks, and of course, including their business partnership program, best partnership I ever had. Definitely check them out on Google as well. Speaking of Google, they made up a brand new little like old school sign they used to have back in the mid late nineties. Back when I was a nineties kid, when I was just barely taking over the world by then, back then, next to like Yahoo and of course Rip to AOL, rest in peace. <laughs> Even though they're still around, but they're just way less relevant than they used to be back in the late eighties, early nineties, when that whole like Tom Hanks movie was real big, like you got mail from Sleepless to Seattle, which of course I was like two, three years old when I came out, so I have no compilation or concept of how that movie was when I was a little baby at that time. Of course, years later when I saw my teen, I was like, oh, that's what it was about him um, having AIDS, and I think he was a homosexual in that movie or something. Of course, he's straight in real life, I know that, but like he was pretending to be a homosexual gay man and all that stuff. I don't know. Anyways, um, yeah, Yahoo, Google, and what else? I think MSN, they've been around for the longest next to AOL. It was pretty much the first four email sites back in those days. And now it's just every single other social media network has been taken almost over that thing. Except Google and Yahoo. Those are probably the only two left that have like the most billions and trillions of dollars. All the other ones are pretty much just, <laughs> you know, a cakewalk with those social media networks like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, DeviantArt, uh, Pinterest. Hell, even fucking uh, Vine is starting to get to that type of, you know, cash cow. But I'm not an economist. I, I don't add numbers, I don't crunch numbers down, so I really don't give a fuck about most of that stuff. I know well about it, I just really don't care too much for it. Unless I wanted to work in Wall Street as a businessman, which I'm way on the other side of the country. I'm not like in Vegas. I'm nowhere near New York. <laughs> I miss New York, by the way, man. <sighs> fuck, I miss my fam out there. I mean, I have fam out here, but not very much. But uh, yeah, um, we're not going to get into that. So today, I'm not going to be doing not one, but two video game um, trailers. One is about a month maybe four months old and then maybe a week i don't know this one i know is about a week old this is august 25th shout out to game explain for putting this up i know there's a lot of other p trailers that um actually posted this um shovel knight plague of shadows trailer up already but i wanted to look at it on game explain because you know i'm already subscribed to them so a lot easier saves me the trouble for searching the whole thing the whole freaking web the whole website place for youtube to like find a trailer for it 65,000 views, um, 2,000 likes, not bad, not bad, and only 32 people hated it. So, links to the description box down below, and of course the annotation on the side if any people want to watch it with me. And um, before I begin tomorrow, September 2nd, I was going to start being less and less on YouTube today, but um, since I thought it was Wednesday was 1st September and not Tuesday, I'm going to do about maybe four, possibly five new extra videos. Two of them, of course, I'm going to be uploading. This one might not come out until next week, maybe next month of October by the time I upload this. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, um, there's this um, video game trailer along with this other one's called Rumbo. I only heard about it about two days ago. I saw how some of the gameplay looks, but I wanted to look into it more as a trailer. I think this was the one that was about three, four months old. And I feel a sneeze coming on, so apologies if I have to sneeze in advance. Ugh. Anyways, hold on. Okay, no, I didn't. So, I might have to do it in the middle of this reaction. I hope I don't. Um, yeah, so, without further ado, like I said, links in the annotation on the side, and of course, on the description box down below if you want to watch it with me. And the reason why I'm going to be less and less on YouTube is because, um, as most of you know, I already got two jobs, but my retail jobs have really kicked my ass a lot lately, so I've been thinking about getting the fuck out of there because the boss is a complete fucking asshole, and he's a piece of shit. He can go fuck himself. Uh, luckily, he doesn't know why I'm on YouTube, because if he did, he probably would have fired me by now, especially just by saying that. My other one in my hotel, like, managing type of job, you know, um, it's it's awesome. It's peachy as fuck. I'm not quitting that shit for the world unless I got to move to Texas. Then, unfortunately, I am going to have to quit it. But until then, as long as I'm here in Vegas, I don't have to worry about it. But, ladies and gentlemen, um, yeah, I'm probably going to have to go on Craigslist and look for more work because that one's stressing me the fuck out. I need something a lot nicer. More slower, more convenient, you know. Even like janitorial services, I'll fucking do it. I don't, I don't care if I have to clean shit from the bathroom. I'd rather do that compared to doing this fast retail shit. It's, 
It's burning me the fuck out really bad, man. It really is. Plus, my feet are hurting a lot more normal. It's kind of personal, but at the same time, well, some of you people might relate this with me. But I kind of have flat feet, and it sucks ass having flat feet because if you have flat feet, you kind of know how it is, how painful it might be. Unless you use, like, those Dr. Scholl's gelling things. That's why I normally use most of the time, so that way it takes less pain away from my feet. Thank goodness. A little bit more than normal. Because if I didn't have those, my feet would have broke a long time ago. And then when I had operations, it would have been like eighty, ninety thousand dollars $90,000, which definitely money I don't fucking have at this moment. Hopefully, maybe in 10, 20 years from now, I'll have that type of money. Until then, not happening. I, bought, I got about at least about four or five hundred, maybe five, six grand in the bank right now. And I'm trying to make that last as long as I can just to get by. And um, if you're in your 20s, even 30s or up, you know how hard it is to like survive in your own when you don't have family anymore. It's hard as fuck. I mean, I got my roommates, thank God. But if I didn't have them, I'd probably be living in the street right now. And it would suck ass. Not going to lie. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, um, let's get to this trailer. Three, two, one. Let's get in. Might have to do two part runs just in case. Let's go. I've only heard about this trailer for Shovel Knight: Plague of Shadows, so I'm going in this totally blind. Come on. Shovel Knight. But I did like the game Shovel Knight. I still haven't got a chance to play. I really want to. It's got that old school '90s like nostalgia type of um, gameplay. Oh, what is that? It looks like the thing for Legend of Zelda. It's a minute and 30 seconds, it's pretty long. I think this is from Yacht Games, too. Oh, you don't play a shovel now, you play as that little crow face thing. So, is that a good guy or a bad guy? I don't know. So, you get to put a shovel now as a cameo or something? Because that's not a shovel now. Who is that? I wanna know this thing's name. Is it a monster demon or game? Is it a demon or an elf? Wow, look at the snake. What? What the heck is that? It's like a little Kirby whale. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. Oh man, that's just so nostalgic, even though it came out 2013. Or last year, 2014, I forgot. Plague it. This is sick. Bro, I gotta get this shit. I still gotta play the first one. Yacht Club Games, okay. Shout out to Yacht Club Games. They know, they understand the people like me that love nostalgia, man. A free update for everyone who owns Shovel Knight. PS4, Wii U, Xbox 360, okay. How come it's not for PS3 if it's for Xbox 360 and Xbox One? I don't get that. Whatever. And for a Nintendo 3DS, not bad, not bad, not bad. That's cool shit. Uh, now let's get to the second one. Um, what was it? The Rumbo. Because I heard there was Bit Trip Runner supposed to be there in Shovel Knight. That's cool shit. That's the reason I wanted to check this trailer out. Let's get in. 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Like I said before, I'll say it again. Links in the description box down below and an annotation on the side. Let's do this shit. Pettyinfo.com. Okay. I don't know what that is. Wii U. Is it only for the Wii U? It's not for the other two games? The system for PS4 or Xbox One? 13 a.m. Games Presents. Yeah, I've been wanting to see this. There's two trailers to this, but I'm only going to react to one. It's the second one. I think this was a week ago. Let's see. Val and you. This looks a lot like the same people that made Bit Trip Runner. It really does. If you don't know what Bit Trip Runner is, I had to get the game. I got the first one. I never got to play the second one, but I know it's awesome as fuck. Star guest starring Gun Volts. What is that? He looks like a Final Fantasy character. Or, um, Chrono Trigger. Tesla Man. He looks cool. I like him. I like this catchy music. Clone. He looks like Gizmo from Teen Titans. Clone. He really does. I don't know if this is not too loud enough for you. I'm gonna put up a little louder. There we go. You guys should be able to hear that. Nah, I don't know what to tell you. I like this catchy music. It reminds me of Splatoon a little bit. This is from an indie game development company. This isn't from a mainstream game like Activision or a game company or somewhere. Arid. He looks sick. It looks like Robocop a little bit. I like this. Don't tell me that Zero Suit Samus there. Is that it? Hold on. No. Zito Richter. He looks like he had the Samus on um, spaceship a little bit. No way. Princess. Oh, that's just her name, Princess? She looks funny, I like her. 
Dang. Feels like seven colors of the rainbow, because that's what Rumbo's gimmick is, rainbow, but when they run all over the place. Oh, it's like some old school platformer thing, but it's like a co-op game. I, I see what they're doing. This is sick, I like this. Max. He looks like the dude from um, the Mother um, Earthbound series a little bit. The one that throws those things in the air. Drifter. Those like rockets in there. Who's this? Unity Chan. Oh, is that like some hentai incest joke? Like that Oni Chan thing or something? Because I heard about that before. I'm not going to get into that either. That's like extremely sexual shit. Anyways, um, this looks pretty sick so far. I'm feeling the music though. It's beautiful. He looks like the big trip runner dude, but it's not him. Who's that? I like that Lucha Dona, but she's cute as fuck, man. I'm not lie. Oh, the big trip runner. I see him. And Shovel Knight. There they go. There they go. Nintendo Wii Shop. Fuck. I don't have a Wii U, so I can't play this. That sucks, man. Canada Media Funding in Ontario. Shout out to you guys. You did an awesome ass job making that game. The music, I was I was really feeling the music. That's cool as fuck. I like it. Epic as hell. 10 out of 10 IGN rating. For sure. For damn sure. Overall thoughts, views, and opinions. Let's go to Shovel Knight Plague of Shadows first. That was really cool ass thing. It reminds me of like one of those old school games when you fight the bosses, like Contra. If any of you guys were born in the 90s or even late 80s, like I was in, like I was in 89. Um... You remember Contra. Contra, oh my god, I used to love the shit out of that fucking game. I'm not gonna lie. It was amazing. That was all hell. I loved it. It was probably one of the most greatest freaking nostalgic games I've ever played. First time I played it was actually like 1996-97, like about six, seven years after it came out. I think it was 89 or 90. Of course, I couldn't play it then because I was a baby, obviously. I was just barely born into this world. Um... So I was about six, seven years old, like 1995, 96, around that area, in the mid-90s. One of my older cousins, he was about 18, 19, so he's probably about 40, 45 by now, because, you know, he was older than me, obviously. And uh, this was when I was in Mexico, too, like the first time I was visiting my uh, mom's side of the family at that time. Uh, it might have been first, second grade, I'm not sure. It, it was a long-ass time ago. Some of you, for my younger views, you probably weren't even alive at that time, but... um. <laughs> Um, that's when PS1 and 64 was just barely been coming out after the NES, SNES, and Sega was starting to unfortunately slowly die out. And the whole Polygon era started happening in the gaming industry at that time. It was really, really cool stuff. I introduced, introduced them to Crash Bandicoot 1 and 2, which were big at that time. And a Spyro, of course, because in Mexico it was very hard to get that shit at the time. Now it's probably a lot more easier because everyone here has an Xbox One, PS4, Wii U, and eventually the NX. Soon for Nintendo. Um, speaking of Nintendo, short news, I'm going to be doing it later. Oh man, I think I threw it on my mouth. Sorry guys. Oh, I was hoping I had not had to use the power, but I had to. Um, yeah, I, he, he, yeah, he introduced me to like a lot of the NES and SNES games. He's probably one of the main inspirations why I even had a passion and love for video games, you know? Especially as a 90s kid, I'm not going to lie. Um, it was obviously my first consoles were PS1, PS2, SNES. I never got an NES. I think I borrowed it for a couple of weeks and then I had to give it back to my cousin. And of course, um, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, and uh, GameCube later on, many years later. And then of course up to now, which leads to, you know, the big three nowadays is Wii U, PS4, and Xbox One. And eventually, like I said, Nintendo NX, either 2017 or 2018 when it comes out. Since that other leak like two months ago, or three months ago, was um, fake, unfortunately. But yeah, you know, um, I, I just had a big love and a passion for Contra at that time. And ever since then, I've been wanting them. I think it only made up to SNES and N64, and after that, that was it. They didn't make anymore. So it was pretty sad, but you know, um, it kind of has that same style of detail when you fight the boss. Bosses like in Contra, when you fight them in Shovel Knight, Plague of Shadows. I'm feeling it a lot. I really am. Plus, this gives a bigger opportunity for a lot of older generation people like me to pass our knowledge of video games down to the younger generation of how video games used to be before you know all the stupid ass shit like fucking halo and call of duty and fucking world of warcraft and all that crap started coming out and just making it a fucking cash cow and only caring about money and making video games only competitive and no fun at all you know it's like 
that's what pisses me the fuck off a lot about these younger generation of kids. They have no idea absolutely whatsoever what video games were originally meant to be for fun. Just like the late, great Satoru Iwata, you know. He was the CEO, president of Nintendo, but whenever he got a chance, probably like once or twice out the year, because he, he was a very busy man. Just like Reggie Fisa, he only probably gets to play video games once or twice a year since he's running an industry that sells billions and trillions of dollars of gaming, obviously. Um, I'd probably be in the same position if I was in, the, in his position. I'd be awesome as fuck, by the way, but I wouldn't have as much time to play video games like I normally do, you know? That would be the only um, catch, unfortunately. Um, but other than that, you know, um, it, he said he was a boss manager slash um, CEO president of Nintendo, and he, he does video games as a business, as an industry, as a transaction, as a as a business perspective way of looking at things. You know, like, focus, and the whole banana thing he used to do back then before, you know, he unfortunately passed away about three months ago. Um, but at the end of the day, he will, in his heart, he will always feel like a gamer. And you know what? That's why I have a lot of respect for that man. And unfortunately, you know, now that he's gone, I feel like a lot of the video game industry, I feel like it might end up crashing and burning without this man. Even though Phil Spencer's controlling a lot of the Xbox One chip revenues for Microsoft and uh, the other Asian and white dude. I'm never sure who the CEO um, guy is for, like, Sony PlayStation. I know, like, the one that controls every, like, other division for Sony that makes games or movies or a lot of their laptops and a lot of their headphones things and a lot of other different, like, divisions in their um, stuff or, like, music and all that. I know it's a lady, but, like, the one for just the gaming division, um, I'm not sure who it is. I think it's, like, the Irish dude, the UK guy, or the Asian dude. I'm never sure. It's always, like, one of those three. Or the fat white dude. I forget his name. I think one of the Asian Japanese dudes' name is um, Yashida or Yashoda something, Kamara. I don't know. I know he's the Sony CEO gaming developer for, like, Japan. But that's the only one I know. Um, they, they mostly just see it as a business. They really don't see us as for fun. But they're businessmen. At the end of the day, obviously, the one thing they obviously absolutely cannot live without is um, having a lot of the revenue that a lot of Sony fans like myself, you know, pay for most of the time, especially on a monthly basis. And then, of course, without their without our hard earned money, they're obviously going to business is going to run into the ground. And, of course, they don't want that to happen, obviously. So you got to keep paying more money and money and money to get our entertainment. And that's for another video. I'm not going to talk about business and capitalism because that's not what this video is about. But, um, yeah, obviously they only care about money. But at the end of the day, you know, we want our entertainment, so we got to pay a shit ton of cash for it. And not all of us have that type of money, unfortunately. Some of us do, mainly a handful. But um, me, unfortunately, I don't. I wish I did because... I'd be doing a shit ton more unboxings in this channel if I did. But then I would probably have to sacrifice one of my stuff, like a comic dub or My Little Pony or Pokemon. I'll probably have to drop one of those franchises, unfortunately, if I did do unboxings. And I kind of don't want to do that. So other than that, people, um, yeah. That was a really cool um, thing for Shovel Knight, playing Shadows. Now for the other thing, Rumbo. That had a lot of really good music in the background. I really loved it. The gameplay and the mechanics were really, really cool. The whole co-op teammate thing is really, really nice, whether you're doing it locally or online, which a lot of these younger kids and teens nowadays, they probably just do it online since a lot of them probably don't have real-life friends, which, hey, it is what it is. Um, if you want to be antisocial, go right the fuck ahead. I'm not going to stop you. Um, I'm not your dad. I'm not going to tell you, oh, you can't do this or you can't do that. You know, do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> At the end of the day, if you're a younger viewer watching and your parents um, tell you what to do, what not to do, it's best to listen to them. But unless you want to act like a rebel piece of shit like I did when I was living with my family, hey, go right the fuck ahead, too. I don't have responsibility for you. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Anyways, um, just as long as it doesn't like, land you in prison or anything like that, or juvenile hall, because once you're 18, then you go to prison. As long as it's not hurting or killing anyone, hey, go all out, man. Or if it's illegal, like, don't sell drugs or don't do any of them, because when I used to live in the projects back in the day, I seen a lot of my friends go to juvenile hall. And um, it was pretty sad. Not until I moved to the suburbs about when I was like 15, 16. It was a lot more of a different world. And um, I'm not going to get into that because some of it's very personal, private shit that happened to me, unfortunately. And some of it was good. And other of it was kind of bad. And I'm not going to tell you what it is because that's private. And obviously, like I always say in my videos, if it's something private, it's for me to know and for you to never to find out. Sorry, guys. I'm just how, that's just the way it has to be. 
But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, um, it's got real good music, good mechanics. I really love the music background thing, like I just said. Um, a lot of the characters are real cool. They, get, they put Mr. and Mrs. Bit Trip Runner in there. And they put Shovel Knight in there, so that was pretty cool. So it might have been the same people for Yatch Games that made this game, too. And no one was Ontario, Canada. I don't know what it is, but a lot of indie games, they mainly come from Canada and not here in the United States. I, I don't know why that is, but it is what it is. I don't care. I'm just glad they make indie games regardless. And I really can't wait for that freaking Shovel Knight Amiibo to come out. Fuck, I want that thing so bad. It looks so badass, man. And it's only like 12, 13 bucks, too. So I'd be able to cash in a couple dollars for that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind it at all. I still got to get that Pac-Man and Diddy Kong one, like I said a couple of months ago, like I was originally going to get purchase. I don't even know if they have those ones anymore. That might be completely sold out. I'm going to have to go on eBay or Amazon to get it now. It's as long as it's not twenty, thirty thousand dollars because I'm not going to spend that much money on that. Plus, I don't have that type of money. But, um, yeah, that's all I have to say, people. So, uh, links in the description down below, any annotation outside if you wanted to see this video. And that's it. This has probably been about 30 minutes, so I'm going to end it off right the hell here. Peace out once again, bros, women, bronies, mega sister. We'll see you when I see you guys a good day, after night, whatever, around the world. And drink, smoke, weed at the same time. Don't do anything reckless. Keep it calm, keep it cool, keep it chill, keep it good life out there. And until then, that's it, guys. Peace out, ladies and goodbye. Stay tuned, more videos coming soon. Brand new videos on this channel almost every single day. And with that said, people, um, stay in the grind, stay easy, stay safe, stay healthy. Be easy, be you, dude, yourself. And until then, that's it, guys. Um, peace out. I'm out like sauerkraut. I'm gone. I'm getting the hell out of here. And as always, people, stay tuned for more future content in this channel. And as always, stay tuned for more updates. Talk to you guys soon. I'm out. And, um, yeah, I really enjoyed these trailers. See you guys next time, and take it easy, everyone. Peace.